Hi, we're making um, arms today. This is the form I use to make my arms. It's made out of six pieces of half inch MDF cut to the exact same size using my router and then glued and screwed together, covered with packing tape so that when the arms are made, they do not stick to the form. Can you zoom in on this please, Bruce? Hi, this is the wood I use to make my arms. It's custom sawn for me. I plane it down to a quarter of an inch and I use four of them. So the arm ends up being an inch thick. It's 36 inches long, five inches wide. So what I do is I spread this side with Gorilla Glue and then I spray this side with water because Gorilla Glue needs water to activate. And then I put them together like this and then it's just like a sandwich. Gorilla glue, water. Gorilla glue, water. Then I put it on top of my form. I put my call on top so that I do not damage my, the top of my arm. And then I clamp. This is the tool I use to spread the glue. It's a plastic putty knife. It's the best because after I finish gluing, I can let the Gorilla Glue dry on it and then just peel it off. Right now I'm putting glue on, making sure it goes right to the edges and then filling it in in the middle. like icing a cake. Now it's a very messy process. There will be glue going over the edges because you want to make sure that you get right to the edges. You want to make sure you get everything. Now, I take a little spray bottle and I spray the other piece of wood. Because you don't need the wood saturated, you just need it damp. And then I put it on top, making sure the edges line up as much as I can. And now I put glue. Okay, so I've started clamping up. I've got started with two C-clamps on either end. Make sure that it um, starts out evenly spaced on either side of my form and also that the edges of the board line up as close as possible. This is so that we get excellent contact between the surfaces. The good thing about this is it will not come apart if you have good contact. Uh, but we want to make sure we have good contact all the way along. So two clamps are not going to cut it. We're going to have to put lots more clamps on. You'll notice there's an overhang on both sides. This is because um, the, the actual arm is only this long from the beginning to the end of my form. This allows for a misalignment of the board so that they stick out a little more than they don't line up perfectly. I cut them off with my chop saw. Also, you'll notice it sticks out on either side of the form. Again, the same thing. So when I'm done this, when it's all glued up in 24 hours, it's going to be put onto my jointer. One side's gonna be made flat, then it's gonna be run through my table saw until it's four inches thick. So this is the arm all clamped up on its form. The Gorilla Glue, when it's activated, turns into foam. You can see it 
just ooze out where it's been nice and tightly clamped. This is going to sit in the clamps for 24 hours until it's cured. Then once that's done, I undo all the clamps and then, as you can see in this example, I run it across my jointer to get one smooth edge and then I take it over to my table saw and cut it to four inches. Um, then I've got a finished product back here that I'll show you in a moment. So here is the finished arm. It's been cut to length and I've routed over the back and the front. And if Bruce will zoom in, you can see the four layers. This arm has been stained in the dark. In our next video, we'll be discussing how I make the sides with the rails.